Okay, the Article 32 hearing, that's between preferral and referral. And Article 32 is essentially that hearing that we talked about. It's a, prelim it's a preliminary hearing to determine if essentially if there's probable cause in your case. Now, what's gonna happen is a preliminary hearing officer, a foe, no, not the Vietnamese style soup. A foe is going to be appointed to the case. That foe is going to be a judge advocate. They're probably gonna be a major lieutenant colonel in 04, 05, or 06, depending on the significance of the case. It can even be in 03. They're gonna look at the evidence in the case, whatever evidence the government wants to present, and they're gonna make a determination whether there's probable cause or not, or whether there's reasonable grounds to proceed forward with the case. Now, remember, we talked earlier about proof beyond a reasonable doubt, that proof beyond a reasonable doubt being a very high standard, which you have to remember is this standard at this hearing is incredibly low. It's very low, you can just walk over the standard. It's a small, it's a very low standard. So strategically, you have to start making some decisions about, do I want to go to the Article 32? Do I want to waive the Article 32? Because there can be a pro and con for both. At the Article 32 hearing, the accused, you have a right to be present there. Uh, your counsel has a right to be present there, and you can even request witnesses, although oftentimes they're typically not granted, although every case is unique. What's gonna happen is the preliminary hearing officer is gonna make a couple determinations. Number one, is there jurisdiction in the case? And typically the answer is yes. There'd be some odd cases where that wouldn't be yes. Is the charge sheet in the right form? Are there any other potential charges that should be added? Or, and what level of court martial or disposition should this be? Now, there are a lot of different things we can do with an Article 32. Sometimes if we believe the case can be dismissed, that we can get a recommendation that the case can go away at the Article 32. Sometimes it's worth doing it. But oftentimes, or more times than not, even when there's a good recommendation, it's simply a recommendation that's not binding on the convening authority, and the convening authority is gonna refer the case anyways. That's not every case, but in a sexual assault case, they're typically gonna refer it. So a strategic decision needs to be made, do we do the Article 32 or, or don't we? We don't want the government to protect the case. We don't want a situation where uh, there's maybe additional charges being added. So there's a lot of reasons to not do a 32, but there are opportunities for sometimes choices or reasons to do a 32. That's a really independent decision based on the facts of each case. But what's the important takeaway is that absolutely no case at a general court martial can proceed to trial unless and until there has been an Article 32.